Hi there. Welcome. I'm Brianna. I can't wait for today's Bible story. It's such a happy story. Are you ready? Okay. So God's people had been attacked and taken from their homes. They were in exile in Babylon. Then Babylon was attacked and taken over by a country called Persia. Today's story starts with the king of Persia. Check this out. Many years before God's people were taken to Babylon, God made a promise. He told the people his promise through the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah said that the exile would last 70 years and that God would bring his people back home. This was God's promise, and God always keeps his promises. Cyrus was king of Persia when God gave him an idea. King Cyrus made a decree. A decree is like a law. Everyone had to obey it. Cyrus said, let all of God's people go back to Jerusalem so they can rebuild the Lord's temple. Give them gold and silver and animals. Give them gifts for God's temple. What wonderful news, the exile was over. God's people were free to go back to Judah, to their homes. God's people got ready. The neighbors gave them gifts like Cyrus had commanded, gold and silver and animals and other expensive things. King Cyrus gave them the things Nebuchadnezzar had taken from God's temple when the exile began. Zerubbabel and the high priest led God's people back to Judah. They hadn't been home in 70 years. Many of the people were born in Babylon. They had never seen the land God had given their parents and grandparents. In all, thousands of people went back to Judah. They took with them all the gifts and many animals. They settled in their hometowns and set up their houses. Then the people met together in Jerusalem to rebuild the Lord's temple. First, the priests rebuilt the altar in the same place it used to be. They followed all of the laws of God for building. When the altar was finished, they offered burnt offerings to God. They had a festival and they made sacrifices to God. Then God's people gave money to stone cutters and carpenters who would work on God's temple. They paid people to bring cedar logs to Jerusalem. Finally, when everything was ready, the people started to work. They laid the foundation of the temple. The foundation was important. It would make the building strong. When the foundation was finished, the priests put on special clothes and the people praised God. They sang, the Lord is good. His faithful love will last forever. Then the people shouted and praised God. They were so happy. The foundation of the temple was complete. Not everyone was happy though. Some of the older people remembered what the temple had looked like 70 years ago before it had been destroyed. They cried. The noise of the crying and shouting was so loud that the people could be heard far away. Zerubbabel led God's people back to the temple to rebuild it. The temple was the place where God met with his people on earth. Jesus came to earth to rescue God's people. One day, Jesus will return to restore a greater home for all of God's people, and we will spend eternity with him. God didn't forget about his people in Babylon. He kept his promise to save a remnant, and a group of God's people returned home to Jerusalem. That must have been a very happy day for God's people. See you next time.